Hey, what's up everybody? I know you're at home probably bored, had nothing better to do than watch this video. So basically I'm giving you an update on the FC3S since the last time we talked using this little stick. So my apologies if it's wobbly or I look cross-sided, but hey, uh, let's have some fun and look at some cool things that I'm gonna be adding to the FC3S uh, build and making it what I want for as a track car. Uh, just a quick uh, reference behind the back story on building this car. I wanted to build a uh, another rotary powered car for the track, uh, but I wanted something that I can actually compete with door to door and time attack that I didn't mind, God forbid, that I told or wrecked that I can transfer all those parts into another chassis and be able to buy an affordable chassis very quickly if need be. Um, so I chose the FC3S chassis for that, at, but I'm using a uh, Roo motor and, and a lot of other details that I'm gonna go through uh, with you guys real quick. So uh, first of all, let's get into what's in the big brown box that I posted about earlier, and we'll go from there. Some of you may have thought about it. But this is the full FC3S front and, and basically full wide body. Uh, but this is not your BS style wide body for looks and fat wheels. This is a official to spec JGTC style slash JSS or IMSA style wide body that these guys actually spent five years hunting down and crafting the exact same style that was designed for competitive racing for the FC3S chassis. Uh, so that's gonna be going on this car. And I'll drop a picture right now so you can see what that'll look like on uh, the FC3S. Some of the cool things I've done with this car, obviously it's got a roof swap. So that's a, that's a big thing on it. I did my own set up far as trans and everything as well. It's running a, a turbo two trans just because everything bolts in properly. And uh, it's a lot more uh, simplistic far as the drivetrain, the drive line. It's got a turbo two rear end. It is original GTU chassis. Uh, turbo two rear end. I built my own style Toge Techniques. If you guys need it, let me know, togetechniques.com. Own style upgraded FD, uh, uh, caliper, excuse me, with uh, larger uh, 330 millimeter uh, rotors. So, and on the back, I'm using the Turbo 2 calipers with uh, FD3S rear rotors, which is a big upgrade. It does have the classic Aria Mimia uh, wheels. I believe these are AW7s. Um, we're also a uh, carrier for Reinhardt Takumi exhaust. So it has a Reinhardt to come exhaust on it. Really clean. Uh, it does have a, a nice cage in it. Uh, so that's nice and sharp in there. Overall, real clean chassis. Gonna be running the Turbo 2 hood, of course. Those look flawless on here. Uh, engine wise, it's a big HKS T51R. So it's gonna spool really nice. Uh, far as power band up top, mid to top, mid to top range. It's gonna have a nice spool. So it's running a T51R, which is an old school turbo, but I wanna just break this engine in with it, have fun with it, have a really cr crazy top end and mid range with the car. And that downtown of spool will help me get out of the corners without spinning out too fast. Uh, running a Haltech engine management system with a Hall technician as well. Custom setup there. Uh, full, I'm running a full terminated harness. So I'm still finishing up some of the wiring, as you can see. Front mount intercooler is tucked back. Give it some bracing and whatnot. Uh, coil radiator. Uh, I'm running uh, dual oil coolers up front. And I'm also running a uh, power steering cooler. But yeah, that's some of the things in it. As far as interior, really clean interior. I'm actually gonna keep the carpet. I'm gonna keep uh, 
a lot of clean amenities. They even built the carpet around the cage that uh, Chris of Top Garage did for me. So I wanted to keep the interior really nice, really clean door panels, even to the point of how I mocked and mounted the uh, ECU and whatnot. So it's really clean and docile. Look, it is a hard top, I mean, it is a uh, sunroof model. However, the models with the actual metal casing and metal top non-glass, you do not have to remove, which is great for uh, the sanctions that I'm racing in, so. That's a little bit about the car. And I'll jump over to uh, what these panels look like unwrapped. Uh, this is the front fender as well. And it's uh, nice and wide, as, so you can see there. And just, you know, really good quality, nice and smooth. Uh, no large pitting. Follows the original car's body line on both, as you can see here. So that'll be nice and aligned with the door. And you'll see in the picture that I attach that uh, it really lines up well with the original body lines of the car. The best kit on the market for sure. Uh, it's not a cheap kit, but the quality is what you're paying for. And you can always tell a good kit when it actually comes with bracing and hardware. Any kit that comes with bracing and hardware, usually uh, they didn't put enough foresight into the kit to ensure that it's braced properly and fits well. So, you know, not that there's anything wrong with it. I've bought many cheap kits, but you always end up spending a lot more time getting them to fit properly, getting them to line up and repairing them when they flex too much. Uh, so yeah, those are those parts. So I was missing a battery, obviously. Got some of the lines ran there. I'm still doing finishing up some of the lines uh, for the custom harness that I make. But uh, the battery has arrived, so we'll take a look at that as well. So much stuffing a smaller box of a Braille lightweight non-spillable battery look how small this thing is man this is awesome so if you do need a Braille battery or an awesome race battery hit me up because I am a Braille Dealer, and I have Braille good pricing. So, need a good battery? Let me know. There, this battery literally weighs probably eight and a half pounds. And here's the cool part too: it comes with a mount, the top hat screws right there, and the mounting braces. Nine brackets there. Even comes with these guys so that uh, you can make it really simple to mount. You can fit onto your regular battery terminals. So this little guy is going in this big ass battery tray. <laughs> but luckily with the uh, custom mounts, I can still reach here and here and mount it down tight where it won't move. And this is actually really good because my intercooler piping, as you see, is right there. It has to come up and connect over here, which my buddy Curtis is gonna be helping me with, make some custom uh, aluminum piping. And then I've got one that needs to come from the turbine over to this side. And of course, I'm gonna be making some grommets here around so I don't have any metal to metal contact uh, but yeah I mean as you can see here that battery sits so much lower that running intercooler piping above it is not going to be a problem uh, at all which is what I needed and uh, space and weight saving is always great as far as coilovers when I bought this car I actually bought it from my buddy my buddy Curtis that I just mentioned of uh, K1 built. It came with uh, HSD, fully adjustable suspension. Now these are dampener uh, 
adjustable too. They're actually on the bottom, uh, which doesn't matter to me because I'm always checking stuff and, and adjusting uh, the suspension at all geometry points. So adjusting at the bottom just gives me a reason to put a wrench on everything else. Uh, far as uh, downforce, obviously the front bumper has a nice little lip on it and kind of a split or so to speak on it already. So like I said, it's the REMMIA FC2000 style bumper. And uh, I've got the HID headlights for it. The hella lights is what they actually are. Every I've built my old coolers to line up exactly with here in these points. And um, that's gonna be nice. But what I also have in that tall box up there on the left is actually a uh, GT REMMIA GT2 rear spoiler that's fully adjustable and super lightweight. Uh, so that's gonna be going on the back here. So I have a little bit of, I'll probably put some splitters on the front as well to even it out. But uh, that way I have some front and rear downforce on this car. And far as the wheels, these are just uh, gonna be some testing wheels. I may rebuild those later. I actually have a set of uh, Mazda Speed uh, MS01s here. Uh, and these are still factory spec nine inch, but the empty barrels that you see there, I've already took the faces out that are exact same as these, except the competition models. Those are currently being uh, cleaned up and painted. And once those are cleaned up and painted, I'm um, uh, taking those measurements and building a custom wheel front setup for uh, the uh, FC3S. So you'll be able to see the white body on there, actual Mazda Speed wheels with a uh, Ronin wide body on the sides and the front will be Ariamimia and as well as the, the uh, downforce. And so size wise, I'm gonna be running a 18 by 11 step lip in the rear, zero offset and then the front, actually it'd be uh, negative 10 offset in the rear and then the front will be 18 by 10 and a half, zero offset. Um, so yeah, the, the fenders that I showed you earlier are 85 millimeters wider uh, than the uh, stock. So that's a lot of tire, a lot of grip. This is gonna be a grip car. I will be uh, taking it to some drift events and, and sliding it before I do the wide body. Um, on these wheels and as well as the Mazda Speed MS01 uh, Gold models. So, yeah, just stay tuned and uh, see the development of this car, but it's gonna rip. Uh, 